This is the beginning. The birth of a god. Called by one pure prayer. Born out of desperation. To be a god. To wield the power of good and evil. That is your destiny. We need a god. Please hear us. Help. Help us, please. Your conscience. We're part of you. Our role is to help you be the god you want to be. So, we'll guide you as you make your godly way through whatever this world throws at you. But before then, you'll want to learn the basics. We'll help you with all that, but even more importantly, you'll need a creature. Hey, let's go and choose one. There they are. Wonderful, aren't they? You have four to choose from, but the one you choose will be with you throughout your whole time in this world. So consider carefully and make your choice wisely. Let us tell you about these amazing beasts. All creatures can be trained to become lovable, mischievous pets. Or they can be the ultimate disciplined weapons of destruction and war. <laughs> Any creature you choose can become these things. That's the wonder of a god's creature. It can become whatever you wish. All creatures will grow up to be huge and powerful. They can be cute, quirky pets, inquisitive and fun-loving. Or they can be single-minded war machines. All creatures will be as good or evil as you teach them to be. Yeah, right. I'd rather they spread love in the form of a massacre or two by going into battle. Creatures can live for war, domination, and destruction. Oh, such a shame if you ask me. Whichever creature you choose will change according to what he learns and does. They all have their own lives, but you need to be a responsible parent and not overfeed them. So, now it's time to choose. Click on a creature with the action button to highlight him. He's gonna go for the lion. Oh, I know it. If you're sure, click the action button again on him. Oh, great choice, boss. You've been asleep a long time. Do you need the refresher about how to move like a god? Use the action button on this scroll to find out how to move and look around. Click the action button on this scroll to skip tutorials. You will miss out on tribute if you skip it, though. 
The hand is your tool for manipulating the world. The movement button pans your view around the world, like this. To move left, hold down the movement button. Great work! Now we must move to our right. To move right, hold down the movement button, then drag the mouse to the left. Wonderful! Just follow the arrows. Uh, let's keep going. Click and hold the ground. Then move the mouse back to pull yourself forwards. Follow the arrows to get back to your creature. And whilst keeping the movement button down, the creature is moving behind us. We must pan backwards to find him. Well done! Now we shall learn to rotate your view. Hold the middle mouse button down, then drag from side to side to rotate your view. Now, whilst keeping the middle mouse button down, drag... It's time to learn to pitch your view up and down. Middle click of the landscape, then drag the mouse backwards Click and hold the middle mouse button in the highlighted area. Lovely! Keep the mi- This is going very well. Now I suggest we try pitching down. Click the middle mouse button in the highlighted area and hold it down. Now, whilst keeping the middle mouse button down, push the mouse forward. There is one last thing, leader. Learning to zoom in and out. Now, try and zoom away from the creature. Roll the mouse wheel backwards to zoom out. Yep. Marvelous! Now try zooming towards the creature. Wonderful! You showed remarkable skill, leader. Way to go, boss. Sorry I couldn't help, but you know, places to be. All the controls you've just learned can be used to move around the world. This is a gold scroll. These lead you through the story. Silver scrolls lead to quests in the world. Bronze scrolls are tutorials, which can teach you so much. Double-click the movement button on the ground there to zoom to it quickly. I see a bronze tutorial scroll here, boss. Move the hand over the rock and hold down the action button to pick it up. Once you've got hold of it, release the button. So, let's move all these rocks out of the circle. Oh, that's it. You picked up the rock like an expert. Now, move it outside the circle and click the action button again to drop it on the ground. Rock on, boss. Yeah, you got it in the right place. Mmm, smooth move. Dad, look! You have received 1,000 tribute, and you thoroughly deserve it. Another bronze scroll. So much to learn and so little time. You know, villagers are wonderfully versatile. They can do so much in the world. You can simply pick up a villager and put him or her next to something. The villager will take this as divine inspiration and become a disciple. Let's have a go at this, boss. Pick up this guy here and drop him over the highlighted area. Very good. Now drop him by a highlighted area. 
Disciple breeder. Don't look, leader. The breeders are doing whatever it is such people do. Disciple builder. And see, we got a builder. What? Disciple forester. And this guy is chopping trees for wood. Disciple farmer. This person is safely working at the farm. You got all that, boss? Uh, of course you did. And to prove it, there's a thousand tribute waiting for you. Now, why not explore the land? Click on the silver scrolls when you see them. Click on the gold scroll on the big mountain to leave. If there is a god up there, and you can hear me, please help me out. I'm in dire need. My life is in ruins. A rock has rolled onto my lovely garden. I've been trying to move it, but it's too big and heavy. If ever a man needs a god, I'm him. Please hear my prayer. Who's he to ask us to move a rock for him? <laughs> Let's teach him a lesson. No, no, that's wrong. We should help our people. We're nothing without them. Praise be! The rock is gone! My garden is rockless! Marvelous! You moved the rock. The man is happy, and all is well. Oh, is this how it's gonna be, boss? Winning the hearts of this world's people. <laughs> You've just received tribute. Lovely. Oh, no. The waterfall is blocked. What will we do now? This is awful. Don't worry. We'll think of something. Throwing objects can prove very useful in both defense and attack. To throw an object, first pick it up. Then, whilst keeping the action button held, move the mouse in the direction you want to throw. Release the button when you want to let go of the object and send it flying. Too bad. Tough luck. Yeah, rock on! Too bad. Tough luck. Well done, leader. The blockage has been cleared. Look at these peaceful people. How lovely. We could help their friends by moving them so they can be together in the main valley. Isn't that sweet? A little lost valley of people. Way to go. You're holding a nomad. Great! The nomad is in the right valley. Yes. Yeah. Good. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Remarkable work. You rescued everyone. 
Look, you received 1,000 tribute. The land is complete, leader. Click the gold scroll on top of the mountain to progress. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. Now you've had a taste of your powers, we're ready to visit our mighty Greek capital. Yeah, full of people that worship us. Please hear us. Listen. Please Can you help hear that? us. We pray. That's a pure prayer. Hear it sounds prayers. like something terrible has happened. Oh, mighty one, please heed our call in this hour of need. Our armies are crushed. What's left of us hides in this city from the brutal Aztecs. And now they are at our walls. I implore you, please help us. It's a huge Aztec army! They're invading! Our city is under siege! The Aztecs have killed nearly all our troops! We're all going to die! Aztec warriors have scaled the wall! They're firing down on your villages! Pick up the villagers and place them in the portal over here, where they'll be taken to safety. You've got a villager, boss! Yes, you put him down in the right place. Our people are trapped by the burning buildings. Grab them and drop them in the portal. That villager is now safe. Well done. What's happening? What's that rumble? That creature seems to be performing some strange ritual. Save as many villagers as we can and get out of here. What are these crazed Aztecs doing? If they crushed our villages with barrels, we need revenge. Look, there are some more barrels on the slope. Pull the guard fence away! The barrels will roll towards those invading Aztec scum! Look, leader! We can set these bales of hay on fire and roll them down to deal with the platoons down there. Pick up the flaming stick and hold it over the hay bales. Oh no, another volcano. We can't save any more people. We've done all we can here, leader. We have lots of followers, and we've escaped from the Aztecs. 
Now, we gotta get ourselves powerful and take the fight back to the Aztec scum. But first, we'll have to conquer the Norse. Or free them to join us, of course. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. To the Norse land! Look! Here are the people we saved! They're exiting the portal! Wonderful! Yeah! These guys made it, but think of how many got toasted! Ooh. Anyway, where are we? This looks like an old Greek settlement. We can re-establish ourselves here. It looks so peaceful here. With no Aztecs, it's the perfect place to build up and get more followers. There is already a town center, a storehouse, and a field which we can use. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. You can only do things within this ring. You can extend the green influence ring by placing more buildings and having more people. When you're ready to learn how to feed your people, click on the gold scroll over the field, leader.